Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. As you know, I've been on vacation for the last couple of weeks, and it's good to be home and getting back into my routine. This is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, September the 29th. It is the 17th uh, week after Pentecost, and today we remember the, uh, the Feast of St. Michael and all the angels. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, God most high reigns. Let earth rejoice, let the islands be glad. Alleluia. Psalms 97 and 99. And please recite them with me. Alleluia, God most high reigns. Let earth rejoice, let the islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about you. Righteousness and judgment are the foundations of your throne. A fire goes before you and burns up the enemies round about. Your lightnings light up the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at your presence, at the presence of the God of all the earth. The heavens declare your righteousness, and all the people see your glory. Confounded are they that serve park images, that delight in idols. Worship God, all you gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of your judgments. For you are high above all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. All that love you hate evil. You preserve the souls of the saints, and you deliver them from the hands of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright of heart. Rejoice in God most high, all righteous people. Give thanks for God's holiness. Alleluia, our God reigns. Let the people tremble. You sit between the cherubim. Let the earth be moved. You are great in Zion, and you are high above all the people. Let them praise your great and terrible name, for it is holy. O mighty lover of justice, you establish equity. You execute judgment and righteousness in Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. All you people exalt God most high and worship at God's feet, for our God is holy. Moses and Aaron were among God's priests, and Samuel among them that called upon God's name. They called upon God most high, and God answered them. God spoke to them in the cloudy pillar. They kept God's testimonies and the ordinance that God gave them. You answered them, O beloved God, you forgave them, though you took vengeance of their evil deeds. Exalt God most high and worship at God's holy hill, for our God is holy. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, God most high reigns. Let earth rejoice. Let the islands be glad. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 5, beginning at verse 12. Jesus cleanses a leper. Once when he was in one of the cities, there was a man covered with leprosy. And when he saw Jesus, he bowed with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. Then Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him and said, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately the leprosy left him, and he ordered him to tell no one. Go, he said, and show yourself to the priest. And as Moses commanded, make an offering for your cleansing, for a testimony to them. But now more than ever, the word about Jesus spread abroad. Many crowds would gather to hear him and to be cured of their diseases. But he would withdraw to deserted places and pray. One day while he was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting nearby. They had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and from Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was with him to heal. Just then some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a bed. They were trying to bring him in and lay him before Jesus. But finding no way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof 
and let him down with his bed through the tiles into the middle of the crowd in front of Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven you. Then the scribes and the Pharisees began to question, Who is this who is speaking blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? Then Jesus perceived their questions, and he answered them, Why do you phrase such questions in your hearts? Which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven, or stand up and walk? But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, stand up, take your bed, and go to your home. <clears throat> Immediately he stood up before them, took what he had been lying on, and went to his home, glorifying God. Amazement seized all of them, and they glorified God and were filled with awe, saying, We have seen strange things today. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world, for the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Jennifer Ann, our bishop, for David, our vicar, for Brother Joe, our community servant, and Pastor John and the church in this home. For all the church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacrament. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For Donald, our president, for Doug, our governor, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Michael and all the angels and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. For the intentions of those who ask our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. You love justice and establish equity for your people and for the nations of the earth, Almighty God. We exalt you with our tongues and worship you in our daily lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.